In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an animated Eid greeting card in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here the moon is visible and then the text will come to the right side and in the background, I have added some small stars which are blinking. And I would like to take this opportunity to wish all my viewers and subscribers a happy Eid. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you so much and let's see how to make this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes and I'm just going to select this particular option which is from the basic shapes. Can you see here uh, this one which is double brace, just make it a double brace this much size or you can increase or decrease and shape fill i'm just going to give some a light gray color later on we can change it shape outline you can make it no outline and with this orange point you can just drag this inside to get more curved shape you can see here and let me just increase the size a little bit more and then go to rotate just say rotate right 90 degrees then align center align middle and then i'm just going to press ctrl d to duplicate again align center align middle and using the alt and the right arrow key i'm just going to press two times so we get up this shape again press ctrl d again alt key and two times i'm going to press the right mouse key so i have to just repeat this till it becomes full design so you can see here, I have got this design ready. You can see here, this particular design is ready. Then I'm just going to select this and go to merge shapes and just say union. So you have end up with one shape. Now select the shape and move it to the left side. You can see here, and I'm going to select one more shape by pressing Ctrl D and then go to format. I'm going to give some darker color and reduce the size by holding the shift key you can see here and this also you just uh, put it exactly in the center then i'm going to cover this slide with a rectangle go to insert shapes select a rectangle cover the slide and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill we can give some different color and then just send to back so you can see here and for the safer side i'm just going to duplicate this slide and then i'm going to cut this part which is uh, you can see here this particular slide i'm just going to select uh, sorry this particular shape and the bigger one and hold the shift key and make the smaller one also and then go to format merge shape and just say subtract so you got this design only you can see here so now i'm going to cut this background for that uh, i'm just go to the my another duplicate slide so for me i don't need this one i can simply delete and you can see here this particular first select the rectangle and hold the shift key and select this islamic design and then go to format merge shape and just say subtract so you can see here that background only is there without this one now you can see here all right and then i'm just coming here to this one and select this shape only which i've cut before Control c and Control v just put it exactly here so we have got these two shapes here one is uh, without the uh, this uh, background I have cut it and another one is this design now it's time to change the colors whichever color you like best you can use it for example let me just select this and then go to format shape outline I can give some can you see this golden color it looks more beautiful actually and if you want you can give some other colors also uh, inside if you want some darker colors green color or whatever color which you feel better you can just uh, give some different colors 
so whichever color which you like you can just simply add it here and for the same thing goes uh, with this uh, background also whatever color which you like you can just change it now uh, I just want to give some different background color so you can see here this is not our background our background is white so I'm just going to select the white uh, this one slide right mouse click go to the format background and I'm going to give some gradient fill here you can see here the gradient fill and I want to give some different gradient fill where I want to show it's kind of an evening time so whichever color which you feel better you can use it change the direction and here I'm just going to use some darker colors something like this you can use it so let me just put it here you can see here this color I want to make it more lighter you can see this kind of look like a evening you can see here so my background color has been changed now I want to put one moon here let me just remove the guides again to add the moon is very simple I'm going to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key shape outline make it no outline press ctrl D to duplicate it increase the transparency level and change the color to some other color and for example I want only this much which is the blue color so first I'm selecting the blue oval shape hold the shift key and the orange one or the golden one go to format merge shape and subtract so you got the shape of the moon and the crescent actually and make it a white background reduce the size you can see here reduce the size if you want you can give some soft edges also if you like you can it will be something like this all right and then select this I'm going to put it here and I'm going to add an animation go to animations add animation scroll down you can select line or you can go to more motion path also let me just select the line instead of going down I want this red arrow drag it here it should come here you can see here and go to animation pane double click how you want timings medium slow or whatever you can just select it now if I just play you can see here the moon comes here but the moon is visible so I want to send select this moon and send this to back go to format send to back so it is not visible now but when i click the slideshow you can see here the moon slowly comes out and then you can add whatever the text eat greetings you need you can add this side here now if you see here i have just added uh, the simple text i have added some more of uh, different stars just small stars and give them some uh, animations different animations so you can just simply use this text and copy and paste it there or whatever the text which you have you can simply copy and paste it so that's it from me thank you for watching my channel That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.